What's going on YouTube? This is your boy The Vintage back on the video, man. Today I'll be here, you guys, with five sneaker rules you must follow, man. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, ring the notification bell for your boy, hit always allow on the post notifications, man. And we're gonna get right into this video, man. Let's get it. So I've been going through YouTube, you know what I'm saying? I always go through like who posting videos and what they post videos about. And I see a couple topics that I feel like I should elaborate on and some topics I feel like I got some two cents in, you know what I'm saying? And this was one of them. Five rules you must follow or five rules I follow in my journey of collecting sneakers, rocking sneakers, being a sneakerhead, whatever you want to call it, man. And I decided to share that with the vintage game, man. So with the first rule, man, is do not wear baggy ass pants with your Jordans, man. Sneakers, whatever sneakers you're wearing, Yeezys, Jordans, Econis, uh, Converse, you cannot rock the baggy jeans, man. I had a whole video talking about where to get your jeans from, how to rock your jeans with your sneakers. And you want to show the whole, you know what I'm saying, the whole cusp, if, if that's a word, the cusp of the shoe, man. You want all this right here to show. This is what you bought a sneaker for. You bought it to show, and you want to have all of this showing, man. You want to fucking, you want to show out the whole kit. You don't want to hide it with them big-ass baggy jeans, man. That's just my number one rule. This is not the first time I said this on the channel. Don't hide your sneakers, man. Don't wear them baggy-ass jeans. Rock some nice taper jeans at the bottom. They can be baggy up front if you don't like them all, you know what I'm saying, tight or tighter than what you're used to wearing. And uh, show them kicks off, man. That is the first rule I got for the vintage game, man. We're gonna get right to the second one, man. Let's get it. The rule I have, this is more like a uh, throw up in the air question. I wanna get some feedback with it. Cause I've been getting a lot of backlash when I be rocking my Adidas sweats with my Georges, man. Is this a rule for for the sneaker game, man. Can you not rock Adidas with Jordans? Or what is it? What's going on? Because people cross brand all the time, as you see with fashion, whatever. Whatever you see one of them superstars wearing, they always cross branding, cross uh, something, you know what I'm saying? So can you rock Adidas with Jordans? In my opinion, you can, but a lot of y'all, man, y'all be like, you can't do that, bro. So uh, I'm gonna have to throw that in with a rule. If you don't wanna get dagged, don't rock Adidas with your Jordans. But me, I do it all the time. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I'm gonna rock my Adidas with my Jordans, man. So that is the second rule that's up in the air, man. So y'all let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel about that one. We're we'll gonna get right to the next one, man. Let's get it. The next rule I have for you guys, this is not a promotion or a collab or anything. You have to rock your force fields or your sneaker shields in your kicks man if you don't know where to get them from uh the most popular one i think right now is sneaker shields but if you want to go back og where to get them force fields man i still got my force fields in one of my shoes i was gonna pull it out for the video but i got so many shoes and i don't know which pair i had them at last uh but usually i throw in my force fields when i want to get my shoes fucked up and they, they reliable bro you don't want your shoes looking all creased up sometimes you want to get that creased look with them ones and jordan ones in my opinion i like my jordan ones had a little you know what I'm saying? A little wear and tear on the toe box, you feel me? But on some of them drawings like the Jordan 11s, you don't want to get that big crease in the toe box, man. So rock your force fields, rock your sneaker shields. That is another rule that I got for the vintage game, man. Y'all let me know how you feel about that one in the comment section below. And we're gonna get right into the next one, man. Let's get to number four. The fourth rule I have for the vintage game, man, is wipe down your kicks after you wear them, man. You know, after you rocking them. You're gonna get the bottoms to look, you know what I'm saying, real dirty. I'm sorry I keep bringing this one out. Let me get, let me get another shoe for y'all. Like this one right here, man. Y'all know I did an own feet on this one, but you know you still have to get something, a wet rag, a warm rag. Get your Crepitec. You gotta get your Crepitec, man. Get the brush going and cleaning them bottoms, man. Preserve your kicks, bro. You spend all that money on your shoes, at least try to clean them, wipe them down after each wear to like, you know what I'm saying, keep them longer. You gotta get that longevity in your kicks, man. So if you gotta use Crep, warm rag, the OG method, toothbrush, whatever you wanna do, you gotta preserve them kicks, man. That is the fourth rule. Uh, let me know how y'all feel about that one in the comment section below. We gonna get to the final rule, man. Okay, so the last rule, man, it is the most important one to one of the most important ones to me is you have you have to guys you have to change up your sneaker rotation you have to you cannot rock the same sneakers every day you know you're gonna have them shoes that you go to work with or something like that you beat up you go to the gym 
that's all right. But when you going out, you stepping out, you want to show them kicks off, you can't rock the same J's, man. So uh, I bring this up because a lot of people out there that wear the same kicks, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to switch it up, bro. If you're going to buy all these shoes, you got to find a way to put them in the sneaker rotation. So I beating up that same pair every day. Try to throw in another pair, you know what I'm saying? Get some good wears in it. Like I say, you're spending all this money on your shoes. You putting what investments you might say, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I buy shoes because I just love shoes, you know what I'm saying? I, like, I love that fashion, I love the Jordans, you know what I'm saying? That vintage look to your shoes. And I like to throw different Jordans, different foams in my sneaker rotation. I gotta give all my shoes some love, that 10 to love and care, you know what I'm saying? So that is the final rule, that's the, the one of the most important in my opinion. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, you enjoyed these top five rules, sneaker rules you must follow, hit that thumbs up for your boy, share the video with another friend that might want to um, interact in this conversation we having in the vintage gang, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you go check out my latest pickups of these G11 lows and these capping gown 11s, the links will be in the description box below and it's on the channel, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Hit the notification bell for your boy. Follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat, man. And I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Did you cop the manager on 14 last shots? Let me know. Peace.